So what you see behind the uterus, what I'm lifting up is a huge fibroid. It's almost about eight to nine centimeters. So we are, here we are injecting a chemical into the fibroid, or rather the junction of the fibroid and the uterus. As you can see, it's making the uterus white. It reduces the blood supply, thus making the surgery more safe. We're now cutting the outer capsule of the fibroid. What is coming out in between is that fibroid and it has a big thick capsule around it. My right hand is now putting in what is called as a myoma screw or a fibroid screw. It's a very simple technique, looks very simple though, of um, pulling and peeling off. It's almost like peeling off an orange. As you see, we apply traction with one hand and with the other hand, we kind of peel off the outer capsule and then the fibroid from in between comes out. And you see here the fibroid, more and more of the fibroid is being seen. As I said, it looks very simple, but takes years and years of our training to actually get there. It's almost like watching someone play a video game and feel that it's very simple to play that game until you play it yourself. And if, of course, it's not just about doing the surgery. It's also about making sure that there are no risks, there are no complications and making it very safe for the patient. Such big fibroids are definitely very difficult um, to handle initially unless you're absolutely trained. So here you see the fibroid in the right side is being cut off from the uterus using an electric current. So the last few fibers of the fibroid now remain. There it goes away. There is another small fibroid behind the uterus. We're removing that as well. That goes away also. There you have it. So now the posterior flap of the capsule seems very big. This is the huge gap that we need to close. So the first thing we do is make the posterior flap a little smaller so that it fits the anterior flap well. There are no excess tissues remaining. And then we start stitching this in two layers. Just to cut the entire video short, I've shortened it to just the outer layer being stitched. We've already done one layer of stitching inside so that there are no dead spaces, no places where the blood can collect in between these capsule and of course the uterus. Again, simple as it may seem, stitching inside the uterus is um, one of the most difficult things you can do via a laparoscopy. The inside's being cleaned and we have yet one more fibroid um, in front of the uterus, rather on top of the uterus. Since we are removing the fibroids, may as well remove this one as well. Although this one is very small, just about two to three centimeters. The same technique is employed. The outer capsule is cut. The fibroid is pulled and peeled away from the capsule
and this bed is now sutured so that the margins are opposed, no dead spaces are left, healing is happening well and this woman is then ready to take on a pregnancy after three months. So removal of the fibroids is now complete but now we have a huge fibroid inside the tummy and the holes that we've made on the surface are maximum of one centimeter. So how do we take this huge fibroid out? So we use an instrument called the morcellator. So as you see the morcellator working here, it shreds the fibroids into small little pieces. You see the blade going round and round and cutting long threads of the fibroid capsule and this chunk is then pulled outside through that um, 1 to 1.3 centimeter hole. Of course this needs to be very carefully done because this blade is extremely sharp and must not touch any other surface or any other tissue inside the tummy except the fibroid that we are cutting. These are extremely bulky in instruments and definitely leave the surgeon with um, very painful wrists at the end of the procedure. So there you have it, that fibroid is getting smaller and smaller with more chunks being cut out and that's all the tissues having been removed. The blade is no longer required. That's the uterus back in shape now. Majority of the fibroids, the big ones are all removed. Again, as I've said in all my other videos, we have to clean up the uterus, ensure that the peritoneal cavity, the uterus, the ovaries and fallopian tubes and the tummy is absolutely cleaned of all the blood, all the debris, all the small little tissues. So we leave a very, very clean pelvis behind at the end of surgery. So it's washed repeatedly with normal saline. We wait for three months, perform a tubal test on this lady, do an ultrasound just to see how the uterus is looking and quite likely after three months when she tries to conceive naturally, she'll be quite successful in doing so. Of course, subject to the condition that she has or her husband has no other major problems.